shooting episode after episode after episode overcoming our fears and doing what we have to do to chase those dreams so today I'm going to teach you how to make vegetable garlic rice it's why I got this I got this recipe from um, Nando's actually <laughs> okay I didn't get the recipe from there but every time I went there I tried to like eat slowly no 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 <laughs> Try to get my test buds to record it so later on I could try it out. So I personalized my own vegetable garlic rice and I'm going to share with you the episode today. As usual, I'll be using American Garden. <laughs> American Garden! I wish I could be bread ambassador of American Garden. <laughs> we all have dreams, right? Anyway, so what you need, you need some rice. Cut. <laughs> using a bit of oil just a little bit some vegetables my choice is french beans carrots spring onions <laughs> spring onions lots of onions garlic and corn by american garden my favorite brand <laughs> yeah so step one is to dice up all the vegetables you'll be using yeah. I start with my carrot. Yeah, I some more cute. Make sure they're beautiful. Yeah. Uh, try to make big chunks so that when you put them in the rice, they don't um pretty much disappear as the rice cooks, yeah? That's why I'm cutting big chunks. beans diced, carrots diced, next we go to the spring onions, although I'll mostly be using this for garnishing, yeah? Remember, if you garnish your food, it looks more appetizing. So you cut off the top, like so, this is what you'll be using for cooking or garnishing, and then the bottoms, these ones, you can plant them and have your own homegrown spring onions, yeah? So I'll be keeping this to plant, <laughs> yeah? Make sure your place stays clean and tidy, as always. Start with the bottom part, I like to start with the bottom part. Yeah, cut nice shapes, like so. Looks like grass. <laughs> Onions and garlic to 
do the lovely programs. Yeah? So keep watching, keep watching, keep watching, keep dicing. <laughs> Hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> it's time for the not so fun part. Cutting the onions. <laughs> First, I cut off the top, like so. Then the bottom. into two. For the rice recipe, I like to cut big chunks so that I can find some, <laughs> so I can find some texture when, when I eat. Yeah? So I just cut big chunks like so. It's not corona. <laughs> so onions, promise. Yeah, so big chunks for the onion like so. any tips on what to do with onions? <laughs> well, the things you do to live this life. It's for the garlic. I try to remove it from the main body. Like, I get a few cloves off the main body, like so. The more garlic you put, the nicer your rice will smell. <laughs> Don't steal my recipe. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, we're all here to learn, right? So we can help make the world a better place. Next thing, after you've gotten the clove, the garlic clove of the parent garlic. Just like that, you have your plain clove of garlic. So I guess I'll, I'll continue with the rest after I dry my eyes. <laughs> hey, we're almost done, we're almost done. I'm so hungry. I, I hope you try out this recipe and enjoy it as much as I do. So next step, you get your saucepan and measure the rice. I'll be doing two cups. It's processed rice, so I don't have to worry about stones and that. Yeah. Um, since we're not that many, I'll do just two cups. One cup. It should usually be one to two, uh, one being the rice and two being the water. So since we put two cups of rice, we'll be putting four cups of water. So after you put the rice in the pan, add salt, add enough salt right away because it's not good for your health to add salt at the table. Yeah, raw salt is not good for you. <laughs> so add salt. The go, the go, American Garden, my favorite processed food brand. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to use sweet corn to garnish the rice to give it that extra exciting, beautiful look. So, well, I always, I always believe that um, whatever you do, you should put your heart into it, including cooking food. When you put your heart into it, the outcome will definitely show. So to open it, you just uh, pull up the hoop like this, then you fold it to the back and pull really hard like that, be careful, yeah, and just like that, you have your corn. 
So you get the right amount of corn you'll be using. Yeah. And then take it to the fireplace to warm up. So you can add it to the rice right at the end when it's time for garnishing. Well, and now off we go to the fireplace. Come along, come along, don't get tired. Light your stove, place your saucepan on the fire. Your saucepan with the onions, garlic and rice should be placed on the fire for some time to enable the flavors infuse while you roast the rice. Turn it around with a wooden spoon, go round and round, round and round. Round and round. You're pretty much allowing the different flavors to infuse while you roast the rice. Yeah? Next, add some oil. You can see the different flavors together. Add just a little bit of oil. Yeah? And keep watching. until you feel like all the flavors have deeply infused into the rice. Take a sniff. Ooh, <laughs> smells delicious. Yeah. Keep roasting, keep roasting for about five minutes. Keep roasting until you see the rice turn glossy. And the flavors fill the entire kitchen. Mmm. Yeah. I love, love, love the aroma of onion on garlic. On rice. Smells so heavenly. Mmm. <laughs> I wish you guys could sniff it. Try it and let me know. Let me know if you love the, the aroma or not. Yeah. Remember, we put the rice, the garlic, the onion, and the salt. Yeah. And now it's time to add water. Yeah? <laughs> it's time to add that water. Remember the ratios, yeah? One to two. So, because we did two cups of rice, we'll be doing four cups of water. Yeah! Remember to use the same cup you used uh, while measuring the rice, yeah? So, one to two for two cups is four cups of water. Okay? Let me add. Let me add. <laughs> Watch out. It could um, make a really interesting texture while, <laughs> while the water bubbles against the heat. So, make sure you're careful. Yeah? Okay? Let me add. Yeah. Interesting, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the steam. Awesome. <laughs> Two. Three. And finally, four. Yeah? Then cover the pan and let the rice uh, boil on low heat. Yeah? Keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. As it starts to boil, check on the rice. Oh, the fragrance is lovely. Time to add the carrots. Because the carrots have a bigger body, you need to put them in early. However, the more delicate vegetables should be put in later so that they do not over process. Yeah? Don't forget, oops, don't forget to check on the rice, yeah. Ooh, it's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. 
time to add the other vegetables, yeah? Okay, you get a fork to help you uh, mix up the rice, yeah? Hope you mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Time to add some green to the color, yeah? I like contrasting colors in my food, yeah? So now I'm going to add in the French beans. Yeah, time to add the French beans. Looking good, smelling good. <laughs> uh, now it's time to mix up the veggies. Yeah, almost time to eat. Mix up the vegetables, make them up nice. Let all the colors get together. Yeah. Oh, look at it, it looks good, right? Keep mixing, keep mixing. The reason we put the French beans at the end is because they're delicate and we don't want them to over process. Yeah. Mix up everything together nicely. Yeah. And then cover so the last heat. Can cook the french beans yeah oh it looks so good it looks really really good wow <laughs> look at that nice right super nice Ooh. <laughs> time to check on our rice yeah Wow! <laughs> I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to eat. So delicious. Looks really good. Hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> Looks really good. Mix it up some more. Yeah. Mix it. Mix it. So all the vegetables are not in one place. Yeah. You want them to be spread out nicely. Oh, it's clumping. Oh no. <laughs> Still looks delicious anyway. Yeah, and now let's move to the next and final step. Hooray! <laughs> I can't wait. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, looks really nice. Look at that. Ooh, <laughs> Sunday is family day for me and it's the day that I practice my one of my favorite hobbies which is cooking. Yeah. I love it when after I have cooked and my family is eating <laughs> and my mom and dad are like, wow, this is really good. You've outdone yourself. <laughs> so sweet. It's those small precious um, memories that make life worth living, right? Yeah. So usually before you take your food to the table for serving, you should change it from the pan that you used to cook. Because sometimes the pan gets really messy, right? So yeah, let's keep dishing it out, like so. Yeah, okay. So the dish I'm using is full. So So, 
how you dish your food. It's really hot, so I'll just take this to the kitchen and then I'll be back to show you how to garnish, yeah? Keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. <laughs> Look at the rice. Look at it. This is before the garnishing, yeah? So See why we end? have to put the French beans at the end? Because they're very delicate and they can over-process very easily, yeah? So to, to garnish, I'll be using spring onion, yeah? Check that out. Sweet corn, check that out, yeah? And some raisins. I like the contrast of the black with the yellow against the white, yeah? Remember when you're garnishing, you have to think about uh, the different colors that you're using. Colors and textures of your food. So imagine the raisins, the corn, the spring onion, the backdrop against the white rice. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let me show you how to lay, layer them all up together. Yeah, keep watching. It's almost time to eat. Yay! Hey, so we're almost done. Now it's time for the garnishing. Remember when you when you take the time to garnish your food, it looks more attractive and uh, yeah, just generally more attractive to look at. So. <coughs> Since we already had green, I will start with the green. I have um, I have um, spring onions and uh, some green pepper. Then I'll add yellow with the sweet corn. Then I'll, then I'll finally add black with the raisins. Yeah, exciting, right? Yeah. So what you'll need is a fork. I have this. <laughs> I don't know what its name is, but yeah, this is what I'll be using. What you want to do is. Uh, use your instrument or your regular fork to mix up the rice and the vegetables yeah so that when someone scoops they're able to get some rice with all the different colors of vegetables yeah something like this yeah try to get the ones at the bottom to the top yeah yeah mix them all up mix it mix it Make sure that all the colors are evenly spread out against the white because the contrasting colors will make it look more colorful yeah mix it mix it yeah i'm starting by incorporating the green yeah go round and round yeah round and round round and round use your fork to mix it up from time to time yeah like that Ooh. Look how nice it looks already. <laughs> looks really nice already, yeah? I'll just use everything, yeah? Put the food value of the rice, since rice is purely carbohydrates. Adding these vegetables will help you have some vitamins and minerals added to your diet, yeah? So it's already looking really nice with just the green. Now, I'm going to go in with the yellow, the sweet corn, yeah? Look how nice it looks, yeah? Super nice. <laughs> Use your fork to keep mixing. Mixing, mixing. Mix it up. <laughs> and then finally, add in the raisins. The black will be able to create wonderful contrast, yeah? Round and round. Round and round. Ooh, look how nice it's looking. It's looking really, really nice. Can you see it over there? Really, really nice, yeah? So I'll just add all my vegetables into the rice, yeah, so there's no wastage and so it looks even more attractive, yeah. Use your fork to mix up everything nicely, yeah, so that each part of the rice has all the colors and all the types of the vegetables, yeah. Mix it, mix it. <laughs> is how the, look, the rice looks when it's done. Ooh, looks delicious, right? Yeah, looks super nice. Perhaps we can add more, we can add more spring onions, yeah, to improve on the color. Yeah, add 
add more sweet corn. The more the merrier, yeah? Ooh. <laughs> so just like that, you have your bowl of vegetable garlic rice. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Until next time, goodbye. Jumbo. Auf Wiedersehen. And muera. <laughs>